up, y'all? Coming to you from beautiful, sunny Las Vegas, and it is 111 degrees outside. Oh! Sure, it does not matter because we do not stop. We are a machine and we will keep going. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to change the trans fluid and do the transmission relearn procedure on your 328 BMW 2000, nah, I don't know, 2006 to 2010, I think. This is a 6A GLR transmission. You may have a ZF. So it may be a little bit different, but let's just hop right in. I'll show you what you got to do. And yeah, let's just get started before I die. <laughs> transmission fluid change when you get a oil wear sensor code when you pull it up on the scanner and that oil wear means your transmission fluid needs to be changed or else bad things could happen. Start the procedure by putting the car up on four jack stands and it has to be even. You want to have it about the same ride height. Here is the kit I'll be using in the video. We're going to perform the transmission relearn before we drain the fluid. Super easy procedure. Put the key in the ignition, press the start button. Do not start the car. With your foot off the brake, hold down the accelerator pedal for 30 seconds and then turn off the key and remove it. Break loose the drain plug. It's a five millimeter hex and have a pan to catch the fluid. Screw the drain plug back in. Break loose all the 10 millimeter bolts holding the pan. Now remove all the bolts, leave one or two to keep the pan from falling on the ground. I made this mistake while my phone was overheating and I put it in the refrigerator and I came out and the pan was on the ground already. With two hands, carefully remove the filter. Be careful when removing the gasket, you may have to reuse it. Wipe down the mating surface with a clean rag. Use a small chisel and hammer to bend the corner of the seal. Be very careful to not damage the surface. Oh, there we go. Right here, boom. I bent it on the corner. Now it's ready. Press the new seal in. And I hit it a couple times with a socket to match the diameter. So I'm gonna finish that and I'll show you what it looks like. Install the new filter and make sure it's seated properly. The gasket that came with the kit was wrong, so I had to reuse the old one. Clean the pan thoroughly. Do not forget to clean the magnet as well. And it's clean, ready to go back in. Find your, uh, your gasket back up with the holes. It's got these little feeler marks here. Then it'll sit and rest in. And now lift it straight up at the bottom of the tram. Replace all the bolts finger tight. Use an inch pounds torque wrench and set it to 10 newton meters. Use two passes and tighten in a crisscross pattern as shown. On your second pass, go ahead and torque everything down. Listen for the click. Go around the pan one more time to make sure you didn't miss any bolts. Now that we have the pan torque, we're going to install the new drain plug from the kit. The recommended torque spec is eight newton meters. I did it by feel. Break loose the fill plug. It is a 17 millimeter and located at the end of the transmission by the mount. I made a custom pump made from a piece of copper tubing and a small pump that you can buy at 
your local auto parts store. Pump enough fluid until it starts to drain out the hole. Mine took about three quarts. That's definitely coming out. All right. Now put the fill cap in hand tight. Almost done with our trans fluid change. We got everything torqued up. The only thing that we have to do now is top off the system. And what you're gonna have to do is use this little guy right here, which is your infrared temperature gun. And we're going to start the car and put it in neutral and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes and bring the trans up the temperature. Once it's between the 86 to 122 degrees, then we can pump in our last bit of fluid until it comes out of the hole. Time to tighten it up and take it for a test drive. Start the car, let it begin to warm up, especially if you're in a cold area, let the transmission come up to temperature. Go through all the gears, holding for a few seconds in each one. Uh, let's see, what's our temperature at right now? 111 actually. It's so hot out here that the trans is already 100 degrees. It's time to pump the fluid in. Move the fill plug again. Pump more fluid until it comes out of the hole. It will take about three more quarts. Be very careful, it is hot now. When you're sure it is full, go ahead and tighten the fill plug the rest of the way. One last check for the drain plug to make sure it is tight. Now that we just finished the transmission, the only thing left to do is take it for a test drive. I think the car is doing just fine. Uh, it's not skipping on the second gear anymore, which is really good. Do a poll, let's see how this thing goes. Thank you.